All right, uh, we'll go ahead and get, get started. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Simons. I'm the Assistant City Manager of Operations, of course, for the City of Columbia. And we would like to welcome you and thank you, of course, uh, for your presence uh, as we gather to provide an update uh, on our very own Community Resource Center, um, which is in progress here at the uh, Belfield Center. I want to thank our mayor, uh, Daniel Rickerman, also our mayor pro tem, uh, Councilman Ed McDowell, who represents uh, District 2. Uh, we also want to thank our city manager in her absence uh, for her uh, continued leadership and guidance on all uh, city initiatives. Um, we are pleased with our with our progress um, on this project. We actually, we are, we are four weeks in to an eight week um, project. Uh, the renovations to the Community Resource Center uh, will be completed in June. So in June, we'll do a, an official ribbon cutting of the center. Um, afterwards, we will take a tour and let you see the progress of what's going on now. It is uh, being renovated, so it's an open space, but a lot of work uh, has been done uh, so far. So you'll get a sneak peek of the actual renovations uh, being done uh, on today. Um, we strongly believe uh, that this will be an asset uh, to the citizens of our community and also the city of Columbia. And what you see behind me is the design of what it will look like. So after the actual uh, press conference, uh, we'll bring those down. So you'll, take, you'll be able to take a look uh, at those uh, as well. At the conclusion of the press conference, we'll go to uh, my left, your right, and we'll go up and we'll walk over to the actual center. For those of you who want to take a quick tour of the center, you're welcome to, to do so. And I'll be led by our mayor and our mayor pro tem. So now at this time, we'll begin with uh, some remarks from our mayor, Daniel Rickerman, followed by our mayor pro tem, Councilman Ed McDowell. Mayor. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to be over here at the Belfield Center again. This place goes way back as, you know, Miss Belfield used to summon me over here every time I did something wrong. She would remind me of that uh, tremendously. But also we had a great opportunity to work together to do things. The hood system that's in that kitchen, the first stove, the sinks, all of that uh, came from one of my restaurants as we were doing a renovation. And Miss Miss Belfield wanted to have a kitchen here and she wanted this to be the center of this community. And it's taken us a long time to get to where we want to be, but we were making investments here. We had an opportunity with the flood, became a blessing. It gave us an opportunity to, to take an asset here and do something better, open it up so that we could have more people involved in our community. We have so many requests from people about, hey, I'm starting uh, a nonprofit. I want to do something for my neighborhood. Uh, I need an incubator space. Well, now, now we have one right here in the community that folks can use where they'll have access to free Wi-Fi, workstations, computers, presentation screens, copiers, printers, things like that to allow people to take the next step so they're not incurring those costs and it's a way for us to invest in each one of those and help folks take an opportunity, a dream, a thought and make it a reality. One step at a time, it's the little things that make a difference. This is one of those things and so we're so excited about it. As we get in there and you see, get to see it, the conference space, the workspace, a place where somebody, you know, not everybody works from nine to five. People may be working another job but have a nonprofit they want to come at night having unlimited access to get in there and be able to work and be creative and try to improve a community one step at a time is what we want to do we want to continue to invest we made a commitment that we would invest in our community in our city in our employees and we're going to continue to do that and this is just one more way that we see an opportunity for us to make a difference but it's not the only. And we're going to continue to work together. As you know, we're working on some housing opportunities here in Booker Washington Heights. Uh, we're working on landlords, tenant rights, but also a community center, ball field, et cetera, to really build up on property that we own, take advantage of assets we have to improve the quality of life in a community. 
We're also going to be launching here this year little uh, old, what they used to be, newspaper boxes and convert those into neighborhood libraries where people can share books, putting those throughout our community, creating a for um, a public art program specifically here for 29203 and parts of 29204 that we can take some space that we own and create some public park, put pride back in our neighborhoods, make everybody realize that if you're going to move downtown, move here. We have opportunities right here here as we rebuild these communities together. So I just want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank Reverend McDowell for the support and the rest of council. When we brought this idea forth, it really came from the community and we took what we heard and trying to fill a need. So let's continue to talk. Let's continue to work together and let's continue to grow our community because we are going to be the number one city in South Carolina. And the only way we do that is working together. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is an exciting time. Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, you see, I changed it too, right? Good afternoon. Look, other than what the mayor has said, this is an exciting time in the life of the Book of Washington community. We continue to grow. We continue to grow and we're not through yet. I want to thank our ACM, uh, Henry Simons, and of course our mayor. Uh, several months ago we had an insurance claim that came into, uh, we had a flooding issue there, and of course out of that came, I'm going to say this, $53,000. Our mayor was resourceful enough to bring before council another $86,000 for renovation of our resource center. Isn't it great to know that this community continues to grow and expand itself? And it expanding in a way where lives continue to be and will be transformed. Transformation in the communities are important. And this is what we are striving to do in Booker, Washington. So isn't that exciting to know that a, that a, that, that, that a center of this nature, nature will be available for those persons who want to enter therein and progress in such a way that our city continues to grow with their participation. A great time in the life of the city of Columbia. And guess what? We ain't through yet. Thank you so very much. Just for a brief moment, I want to acknowledge uh, our staff here uh, that work here at the Belfield Center. If you all would please stand. Uh, we we want to thank you for your, your work. Y'all stand up, be recognized. Those who, who work here at the Bel Belfield Center, thank you. Y'all are doing some wonderful work here and the addition of the Community Resource Center will add to all the great work uh, that's already being done. I also want to acknowledge our support services administrator, Stacy Dixon. He is not here today, but he is really the project lead that's facilitating this work. Um, we do have our director of general services, Kelvin Kiesler. Raise your hand, Kelvin. Kelvin is also responsible for <laughs> directing this, this work. Thank you, Kelvin. Also want to acknowledge Bob Probst, our city architect. The design, the design work that you see behind me was done by our city architect. Also our project manager, Todd Martin, was involved in that process as well. I also want to acknowledge our entire parks and recreation leadership team for their continued support on this project. Uh, so thank you all so much for being here on today.